Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer. This is A Country Life and today I'm in town, out of the country. I am grocery shopping. So I am armed with two flyers. I have the Aldi flyer with, they have some good prices, uh, some things marked down. What do they usually call? Aldi savers is what they call it when they mark something down. And then I also have the pick and save flyer here. So I already loaded the weekly digital deals onto my app so that I can just quickly get in the store. I circled the things that I want so I can just quickly get into the store, find the things I want, and get out. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time there because I do have to go yet to Aldi, and that's going to be enormous. I'd also like to pop into Dollar General as well as there is a small local store, like a little boutique called Rustic Redefined. I have a baby shower to go to, and so I might pick something up there. Otherwise, I did look at her registry, and she wants like one of those front carriers. I think it's convertible to a back and a front carrier. Anyway, so that um, might be something that I can find at Walmart. I think they carry that brand there. In Infantino, I think, is the brand. And... <clears throat> And I would like to get Taco John's to take home for supper today. Normally on grocery shopping day, we do pizza. But Warren was mentioning the other day how he would love a six pack and a pound <laughs> from Taco John's. And he has been sanding, which means he does not come in for lunch. Basically, as soon as the temperature is right, he is out. He is sanding all day on the cranberry marsh. And he does not come in until whatever time the temperature is not right for sanding. So it could be five, it could be six, depending on the day. Today it's like over 40 degrees, although it's damp and cold today. Uh, but it is over 40 degrees. Uh, so I don't know what time he's going to be in. Let's go. Well, pick and save was good. I'm at Aldi now, and it has been since, I think, December 27th, you guys, since I did a great big once a month grocery shopping trip. I'm pretty sure that was the date. It is now February 9th, 10th, I don't know, February 9th, I think. So I need everything. Well, isn't that a nice sight? Eggs came down a dollar since the last time I was here. I don't know how it's 4.30 already. Well, 4.24. I'm out of Aldi. I'm actually going to give these a try. I have been, let's see, I am nine days in again on eating low carb. Been feeling really, really good. Uh, today, though, boy, I just wanted something that was like sugary and sweet. And I don't care for, sorry if you're hearing engine noise here. I just don't care for, I've tried so many different keto sweets and they have like the sugar alcohols in them. Um, I just don't really care for those so much. I would rather eat nothing than eat those. Uh, so anyway, I saw these coconut cashew crisps and for eight cookies, there's 11 carbs, uh, three fiber. So that takes it down to eight carbs. So not horrible. And I'm probably, I don't think I'm gonna have eight. I really just want like one or two. So not horrible if you're trying to cut carbs, but I don't know how they taste yet. Okay, super, super thin. I mean, crackery thin, maybe even a little thinner than a cracker. Oh. <laughs> okay, these are gonna be dangerous. I love coconut. I can completely taste the true coconut flavor in here. Like I actually taste real coconut, not just a coconut flavoring like a like a lotion or a soap. <laughs> real coconut. These are delicious. Try these. Alrighty, we are in Dollar General now. I wanted to show you this is the toilet paper I got last time. This Scott. Uh, it's got like the little lines in it. Can you guys see that? And this is really nice toilet paper. Now, I got both of these last time. I tried the Rapid Dissolving and the Comfort, Comfort Plus. They seemed identical. So we're just going to look at the total square feet. This is way more square feet. So we're going to pick up this package right here. Actually, two of them. Okay, I'm here. Let's go for three of them. <laughs> also wanted to show you guys... This is some Tide. I picked this up 
again last time I shopped at Dollar General, Hygienic Clean. I've never seen this particular one anywhere, and I really, really liked it. I always did the Sport, I think it was called, like Sport with Febreze or something, but I'm really liking this one. And then this is just a little extra special. Um, I don't know if the kids are going to like this, very berry, but I've got a lot of very berry fans of candy, so I thought they might like to try something like that later on. All right, let's get started with the grocery haul now. I'm home. We had our Taco John's. It was delicious. <laughs> and we got everything laid out here. Now, I have to tell you guys, this was $600. Did you guys hear that? $600. Actually, actually it was $640. I'm sorry, because I had my Dollar General um, receipt in there as well. So $640, which makes my eyes bulge because... <laughs> And it takes a lot, I think, to make my my eyes bulge these days. But anyway, it was a lot. I did get a lot, though. I mean, that there's no denying that. I got a lot of groceries. Let me walk you through it. And that's also a number of household items in there as well, like $15 worth of toilet paper, $21 in some sense of laundry soap. So those things do add up. I did also pick up a couple... I can still look at you. I did also pick up a couple Valentine's Day things. Okay, I just shooed the kids out to the other room and I can still hear them being all goofy and everything. Um, and I'm sure you can hear it too. But I did pick up a couple Valentine's things, just a dollar candy for each one of the kids and a little candy thing for Warren. And what else did I pick up there? I think that was it. So anyway, plenty spent at Dollar General too. And a few things that you know, I'm not going to be showing you those candies. All right, at Pick and Save, they had these Tyson packages of chicken for $7.99. That was with like the digital deal. We do have the Super Bowl this weekend, and I just thought it would be, obviously, it's just nice to have some quick things. We can throw these in the air fryer. I don't know if it's just going to be us home, if there's going to be anybody else coming over, but now I know that I have some quick things, and I don't have to um, you know, spend a whole lot of time that day prepping food because, yeah, the next few days we have plenty of things going on. All right, so those three chickens. Then they also had buy one, get one free of the pork back ribs. So I did get, I did that. And I thought, you know, coming up, that is just a favorite. Right away, both Warren and Peter were helping to bring in the groceries and they were like, uh, yes, both of them at the same time. Okay, so that'll be a meal. I'm going to skip ahead here. I also picked up this pork here because I have some of those rice, those like boxed rice mixes, and I thought that would be such a nice and quick supper one night, maybe even Valentine's Day night, to make like this pork tenderloin with one of those rice mixes with a side salad. It would just be something a little different than what, I mean, I've never, I've never bought one of these pork tenderloins like this. I don't think so anyway. I did get something like this, I think, in a, a HelloFresh meal, but otherwise, I've never bought one of those, and I thought, let's do it. Okay, I did pick up three of the beef, beef smoked sausage. I love to make a stir fry. I just slice up the smoked sausage here, and I chop up peppers and onions and zucchini and really anything that you like that your family likes saute it all basically uh, stir fry it saute it with just a little bit of olive oil in there so it you know nothing sticks and um, season it up again whatever way you like salt and pepper maybe only if you like a little garlic salt do that it's so good served with just regular old white rice or jasmine rice such a quick and easy and delicious supper and i mentioned to you guys that i have been i'm like on day nine here of low carbing and again well you know, I did have, what did I have for supper? Taco John's. And I ate the taco shells. And I did have potato olays. So that was um, definitely a splurge supper. <laughs> so, but this is a really great, it's very, a great meal for being on low carb because it's satisfying even without the rice. And I can just, so many vegetables I can chop up with that. So good. I did pick up some, a great big thing of bacon. Um, I was excited to see the $15 sticker on the bacon. However, they've actually shrunk these down from three pounds to two and a half pounds. So that was kind of a bummer. But anyway, still not the worst price for the thick cut good bacon. Two packages of the bratwursts. I have one. We made two from the last time I went grocery shopping, but I still have one downstairs. And I thought, let's pick up two more because, again, you never know 
who all is going to be here when I want to make brats and I want to have enough but brats and maybe some coleslaw or brats and potato salad or brats and tater tots just a good quick supper. If you're new here you might notice that um, I'm going to be like giving some ideas of things that I'm going to do with like maybe ground beef. We use ground venison. I don't have to buy ground beef until we're out and we are still plenty stocked. So yeah, my meat purchase, it, it looks like a plenty, I think, um, but I have a lot of meat in the freezer. Tons and tons of venison, venison steaks. I have a few beef roasts in there still, some beef soup bones. So I really just needed, uh, I usually just need things like processed meats like this because we do like these kinds of meats. Lots of lunch meat. Again, this is delicious for a lunch. I can do this with um, celery and ranch dip and then some cheese and pickles and that makes a very satisfying lunch when I'm eating low carb and so I really like to do that. I did pick up some pepperoni. I had an idea for this the other night and I can't for the life of me think if I was just going to do crock pot pizza casserole or if I or what exactly I was going to do with the pepperoni but I knew I needed it so I picked that up and then a couple little meat snacks these little salaminis they're calling them and then some turkey snack sticks just a couple things to have as snacks you know like the kids pull out granola bars or something if we're going to go somewhere and I like to have a snack too. Back at pick and save I picked up some farm rich snacks I've never tried the cheddar cheese curds. I mean, they're going to they're gonna be good. I just know it. <laughs> and I did pick up a box of the mozzarella sticks. These were on one of their digital deals for $4.99 each, which is a fantastic, fantastic price. So this will go very, very well with our chicken for like Super Bowl snacky foods. I also picked up just one bag of um, tater tots this month and one bag of crinkle cut french fries, two containers of daisy sour cream, and then also at Pick and Save, I picked up the cheese deal. This was a digital deal. I hope I got, I don't know why, oh yeah, I do right here, right next to me. I was gonna say, I thought I got five of them. They just had the shredded uh, cheese on a great price. I think it was $1.50, so that takes it to $3 a pound, which is always like a major stock up price on cheese. Aldi was not that great. These packages, half a pound, were $1.89, and the block cheese was $1.99, but I'm out, so I, I needed to get some. And it was a better price here than it was for other cheeses at uh, Pick and Save because I could only do five of those. Okay, I did pick up some of these little Danimals smoothies. Maria was asking for these, goodness, I think a while ago. And when I was there, I saw them and I remembered, so I picked those up. I got two of these different types of yogurts. This is the Greek yogurt, the blueberry blended. And then this is the protein yogurt. I know that both Peter and Sam really like that. Sam's been packing lunches for work, and so I thought those would come in handy for him. We were all out of oil, so two vegetable oils, olive oil, and then some mayo, and then just some canned goods. I guess I, I, I was thinking I didn't really get much for canned goods, but I don't know if this looks like a lot to you or not. But <laughs> I picked up two cans of carrots, some diced tomatoes. I only have one quart of diced tomatoes downstairs um, on my canning shelf. So, And Peter really has been talking a lot about taco soup. So I thought I would make taco soup at some point this month. So I got the chili beans for that. I got some pineapple chunks here. More kidney beans. Four cans of kidney beans. I do have dry kidney beans. And I really... It's like... Every day it's on my list to can, and I don't know why I don't just do it, but it just seems like every day there's so many things that have to be done, and that, quite honestly, is bottom on the list. Um, some tomato soup, because like I told you, well, maybe you saw that video where I was showing you the meals of the week. Um, I, had, I made chili. I think that was in a meals of the week video, or maybe it was a day in the life just that I filmed uh, a couple days ago. I made chili, and I didn't I only had my home canned tomato soup and I honestly like the home canned tomato soup plain with grilled cheese and I don't like to put it in chili I just don't like the way it tastes so back to the canned stuff for that 
four cans of cream of chicken just to kind of replenish my stock. And then I picked up a couple of these tubes of cinnamon rolls. That's something Peter's been asking for, and he already was like, can I make those tomorrow for breakfast? Over here to the bread, I did pick up one of these packages of Italian bread. We call this Aldi hot bread because it gives instructions. On the back, 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes, and it just makes a delicious, warm bread. It gets kind of a little crunchy on the, a little crunchy crust, and everybody loves to have that, like if we're gonna have, let's say, spaghetti, or we're going to have a roast with lots of gravy, or really anything that you want to kind of sop up the juices with some good bread. That's just a nice treat. I got the cinnamon raisin bagels this time. This was the only kind of bagels they had other than, I think they had like a keto bagel or something like that. But some, so cinnamon raisin, some deli, I just call, they call them deli rolls. I always call these hoagie rolls. And just for making sandwiches, I thought Sam might like to make a sandwich for work on something like that. A couple packages of hamburger buns as well as one pack of hot dog buns. I did pick up some butter over here as well. So I was, they did have, a digital deal this week at Pick and Save, but they only had unsalted left, and it was $2.99. And they had this, they had three of these Tillamooks left for $2.89, and it's the unsalted. I thought, if I'm getting unsalted, let's just go with the $2.89. And then I went over to Aldi, and for $3.98 a pound, I picked up three. I usually like to get eight into my refrigerator each month, um, so that I don't ever run out. Like literally, I'm out, out right now. We have one stick on a butter dish, and that is it. At that price, I just didn't want to get any more. So I'll kind of keep watching. I've been trying to trying to pay attention to Quick Trip. Please, if anyone sees when Quick when Quick Trip has their butter for $2.99 or goodness, even less than that, please let me know. I picked up three dozen eggs. These, I showed it to you in the store, were they $3.69 a dozen or $3.89 a dozen? And just the other day they were, I want to say $4.64, I think, the other day. I was, I was glad that today they were, you know, like almost a whole dollar less. So just three dozen. So we have chickens, seven egg layers, and back at the beginning of January, Peter put a light on them so that we could give them more hours of daylight, which is really what causes them to lay um, more than the temperature. It took like 12 or 14 days for us to get our first egg from one of them, and it was pretty slow then for the next two weeks, but now they're starting to lay pretty regularly. But when I say that, we're still, when I say pretty regularly, I mean every day we're getting one or two eggs. So still, it's not fantastic, but it is helpful, and I will take it. At least they're not complete freeloaders. And yes, that is a Christmas tree still in the background. All right, let's go over here. I don't know why I walked that way. Grapes were on sale. I don't remember what, what they were. $1.89 a pound or something, maybe even less than that. So I picked up just one bag. They only had three bags and two of them looked bad. So picked up one bag of grapes, $2.98 for the strawberries. Picked up two of those. They only had three and the other one didn't look very good. Blueberries, fresh blueberries, $1.99. I have a ton in the freezer, but Peter had been asking for fresh blueberries. So I picked up one of those. One bag of apples. The apples were, I don't remember, they were on sale. The pink ladies were this week. A couple bunches of bananas. I did pick up one 10 pound bag of potatoes for like $4.89 or something, which I thought that was a lot for 10 pounds of potatoes. I do have more, more fruits over here. So I have a bag of oranges. Oranges have been really, really good lately and we've been loving oranges. And then I picked up dried fruit. Warren loves to take dried fruit when he's driving dump truck and sanding. Uh, it's just something that he can kind of snack on. He does not come in for lunch when he's sanding, so it's just something he can snack on. It's sweet, it's chewy, it's just all, all the things that he likes. So I just picked up a variety of dried fruit. Do I have any other fruit? I don't think so. I mean, tomatoes, Fruit, vegetable, you tell me what it is. So anyway, I picked up some Romas. Those were 95 cents a pound. I picked up two of these salads, a pesto Caesar, Caesar and, did I say pester? A pesto Caesar and a regular Caesar chopped salad kit. I'll have one tomorrow and probably one on Saturday and they'll be done. I like to get those um, every now and again for myself. I've been getting them more often lately. They're also great on vacation too. 
I picked up this cauliflower bait from Peppers, Asian medley, um, frozen vegetables, Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts, cucumbers. I think these were, I don't remember if these were 95 cents a piece or what the price was on that. Peas were not fa a fantastic price, but I know the kids and, and me, we all really love peas, so $2.99 on those. I picked up just one bag. More extra lettuce here. A couple more regular garden salad kits. There's one and there's another one. And then a coleslaw mix. We're going to try this again. I have some coleslaw dressing left from when I made the shrimp tacos because I didn't use up all that dressing. And I thought I would just put that over some coleslaw. That would be a good lunch. I picked up some of this tropical trail mix. My This is for my mom. I'll be taking this to her most likely this weekend. And then a whole pile of cereal. I picked up Let's see, the kids help me put stuff out so they don't always organize it all together. But Honey Grahams, Balance, which is the Aldi version of life. It's very, very delicious. Another box of Honey Grahams, which is like Golden Grahams. Two boxes of Corn Flakes. I have so many assorted peanuts in the pantry right now. I don't know how it happened, but I need to make cornflake clusters so I got two boxes so I can make them a couple times here some rice squares Joe had mentioned puppy chow the one day so I thought well maybe we'll do that sometime four boxes of graham crackers a box of pop tarts what is this oh that's the cornflakes cheer oh excuse me some honey nut cheerios four boxes of macaroni and cheese four packages of chocolate chips I was totally out these have gone up to 209 which I thought was crazy expensive. They were just $1.69 not that long ago. Um, scallop potatoes, I just made the two boxes that I have or that I had, so I like to restock just to make sure I have some on hand. Brown gravy mixes, some cocoa almonds, salted cashews, a box of ramen, picked up these fruit snacks. I like to just vary it, so every month I usually get a different kind of fruit snacks because everyone has their own preference. <laughs> Isn't that how it always is? So you have to, it's like one month I get one brand, another month I get a different brand. Some animal crackers, and here are some corn chips. I have another bag over there because like I said, we're going to do, um, we're going to be doing taco soup. You know what I forgot to get was the golden mushroom soup that I needed. I bet I could just use cream of mushroom with a little sprinkling of beef bouillon in it. I bet that would be just about the same as golden mushroom soup because I would like to make a chicken in the crock pot which uses that. This month I already have the chicken legs in the freezer for that. Okay some saltines and golden rounds which are like Ritz, some clubhouse crackers, the party stacks of Pringles, you guys know. Couldn't I could not go grocery shopping and not come home with those, right? Uh, some more coffee. This was $6.99 on a digital deal, and the coffee has been way more than that. Even when I buy it through Amazon, I've been doing that the last two times where I buy a giant box. It's like, I don't even know, I, I want to say I get like eight or ten canisters of coffee in it, and then I just put it in the pantry use it and I don't have to worry myself month in and month out that oh I need to get coffee or I'm almost out and then I have to buy it at a higher price just works so $6.99 they had four of them left I could have gotten five but there was only four on the shelf so I got those some Cheetos here's the rest of the corn chips for the taco soup I did pick up some of these on the border those are the best ever uh, tortilla chips. Well, there is another brand that they sell at Pick and Save. I don't remember what it is. Over in kind of like the deli area. They are delicious too. Okay, but on the border, um, chips for chips and salsa, or I could make taco meat and we could do nachos. That would be a, a nice treat too. Okay, and then I do have more snacks over, he over here. I've been liking these cheese crisps. They're a nice low carb um, snack. They're crunchy. They're salty. They're good and they're strong. So you can't eat. It's not like you sit down and eat a whole bag. What do they say? They say there's two servings in here. I would say usually this is about four servings for me because um, I only eat maybe five of them. What does it say? They say 19 crisps is a serving. I would say I eat probably five or six at a time, like at night if I'm watching the news or something. 
And then they had this new flavor. I thought I'd try these everything Parmesan cheese crisps. Two packages of the cheese and cracker sticks. I know the kids love those, and I'm sure Sam will grab a couple for his lunches. And then a bunch of different granola bars. When we went um, on our trip to the Wilderness Resort in the Dells, we had shopped at Walmart. And so we got the fruit and grain bars there, but we picked mixed berry was the flavor that we picked. Nobody liked them. They literally, Sam just took the last one for lunch. I kind of had to talk him into it to take it because no one liked that brand. They're all, and Maria was like, would you please get the ones from Aldi again? So apple and raspberry it is vanilla wafers and fruit strips they have not had these at aldi in months like maybe a year i i'm not i'm not exaggerating <laughs> and they had a new flavor wild berry i do not ever remember this flavor being there they always had raspberry pomegranate i think one time they might have had blueberry anyway wild berry looked good the almond ones, those are really good with the little sweet and salty flavor. And then the protein bars are good. And then I just picked up a few of the household type items. These were kind of all over. So the toilet papers from Dollar General, I mentioned to you in the store that this was a good one. For me, it fits on my toilet paper uh, dispenser, which is always the key to in our one bathroom is getting toilet paper that we like and that fits. Picked up some vitamins. And so both, these are adult vitamins and kids vitamins. Peter and Maria already tied into those after supper tonight. Some of these like little football play plates. I picked up this here. I have no idea how this is going to fit, if it's gonna run big, run small. Anyway, we'll see. It's just like a little romper. See how it just kind of, it's all one piece. So I'm, I'm guessing it must be stretchy. I mean, if you need to use the bathroom, right? You'd have to take the whole thing down. I don't know, it just looked fuzzy and cozy and kind of nice and just comfy. Okay, so some shampoo and then a couple um, bottles of dish soap. I always get the Dawn Blue, but again, Pick and Save was out. They had the green, which is like apple, and they had the orange. And then I also picked up some sunscreen, three spray cans of that will be going to Florida here shortly and I wanted to make sure that I had some sunscreen on hand because I'm not even crossing my fingers I'm just gonna claim it it's going to be hot it's going to be sunny and we're going to need sunscreen <laughs> uh, and then some of this natural glow whenever I want to sort of do like a self tanner this is what I get because it's more of just a lotion and you don't get quite the streaking around like the, your knuckles or your ankle bones, down your shin, I don't know. Those are all the places that if I try to use a self tanner, I get very, very streaky. Oh, and the laundry soap, I didn't, and milk. I got five gallons of milk. We did not uh, bring those in. I'm happy to report they all made it into the refrigerator. I didn't dump any of them out of the back of the car today. Um, and I didn't have them in a box either because I used all the boxes for like the canned goods and all the small stuff. So I was like, oh, that, that made me cross my fingers that it, that it was going to be safe. And it was. Okay, that's everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you are still enjoying grocery hauls. I'm, I oftentimes I wonder, are grocery hauls like running their course? If people are still enjoying grocery hauls, I know that they do still do well in views. And I guess, I guess that should answer my question. But I always wonder, you know. Are, do people still want to see grocery hauls? Is that still a, a favorite? Um, if it is, give, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know that. You can leave a comment in the comment box down below. And I guess that, that's it. If you're brand new here, I'd love to have you back. You can subscribe so you don't miss a beat. <laughs> we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.